Hello everybody, for today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on the Devolver Digital press conference that took place at E3 2019 this year. Now please note, as I'm going through this, there will be some stuff that I will be glancing over. So, for your convenience to basically have your own thoughts when you actually look at this, I will be linking that full press conference down below. Today, I'm going to be of course starting with the bad, because there was really only one thing that was really bad, and that was Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. I mean, just, what in the hell is this? It's so painfully colorful, it's as if somebody ejaculated a rainbow. Now, moving on to the one thing that I actually thought was really good. DD had this to show, which was a game called Carrion. Now, of course, I don't know much about this game aside from what the trailer shows me. In which you play as a virus that breaks out of captivity and goes on a killing infectious spree. I mean, it looks really fun. It's like the one game that I never thought I actually wanted. And now, moving on to the average games, and um, there's this one uh, compilation of games that they made. It's called Devolver Bootleg, which basically is a game compilation that contains eight original ripoffs of other DD games. And I just find that to be a bit odd that they would go that route, but then again, they are an odd publisher. So, moving on. They apparently did another weird thing, <laughs> and this was about as weird as their presentation. They made a shoot 'em up of Enter the Gungeon, in which is a game called Enter the Gungeon House of the Gun Dead. <laughs> House of the Dead. I see what you guys did there. It was kind of cool, and um, I'm not sure if I would actually go for that. The next average game is called The Messenger, and the DLC for this game is called Picnic Panic. It looks impressive. I'll say the least, but uh, I've never actually played The Messenger, so I don't know how to feel about it, really. All I know is what the reviews told me, and based on what I've seen, it looks kind of cool. And then there's this game that is really, really, really weird. I mean, wow. It's called My Friend Pedro, in which you play as a banana man, I guess, and you kill people for some reason. Maybe this guy just hates the world and he's getting revenge on humanity for constantly eating his kind. I don't know, but it was just, it was so weird. Um, there wasn't really that many games shown here. There was just these games that I listed. And so far, to be honest, it was overall okay, but really not great when compared to some other press conferences that I've seen. Um, so yeah, I think that there could have been uh, some more games shown and... Uh, they know how to actually show games and make themselves appealing when it comes to making a press conference, but this just blew me away. I mean, the press conference presentation style I really liked, but I don't really like the fact that they didn't show a lot of games. I mean, I know that they're a publisher, I think they're also a developer too, but yeah, it seems a lot like they could really do a whole lot more with that. And, um, yeah. That's pretty much it. What do you guys think about the games that Devolver Digital showed? Comment down below. Anywho, thank you all for tuning in, and I'll see you all in the next videos.